Hey everybody, it's AJ back here again with another video. This is going to be my thoughts and takes on the uh, Halloween Ends news that we got a couple days ago. Uh, I think it was, we got it Thursday or Friday. Um, I knew about it already, but I kind of wanted to like take my time and process this, just kind of, uh, kind of uh, take it all in and just kind of be like, okay, you know, what are, what are my thoughts, you know, what are what are my takes on this uh, on this news that we got? So, um, I'm gonna read it here in case nobody knows about it already. Uh, Total Film Magazine actually uh, posted this. Uh, I believe it was an interview with David Gordon Green. Um, so, there's going to be a time jump in Halloween Ends. Now, originally, the kill script that they had, and I think they had an end script as well. I think they were writing both of them back to back. So they were both originally supposed to take place on the same night as Halloween 2018, which I was hyped about, by the way. But due to COVID, due to the pandemic, uh, they could not film Halloween Ends at the time that they wanted to film it. And of course, Halloween Kills being delayed uh, for over a year, they had to basically change up everything. Therefore, it unfortunately will not be taking place on the same night anymore. Instead, there will be a time jump uh, from Halloween Kill. So uh, before I give you my thoughts, I'm just going to read this uh, little paragraph here, or this, uh, this take here from Total Film Magazine. So here's what it says. Addition, additional year will, will only be to the betterment of the upcoming threequel. The script has evolved a little bit since last year, Green says. We had the opportunity to wake up with a new idea, meditate on it for a year, and see how that's evolved in a really good way. The year hiatus will also feed into the structure of the film, which will jump forward a few years following the events of Halloween Kills. We're able to use authentic time clock between Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, so that's interesting. There will be a bit of there will be a bit more of a linear time that acknowledges the reality of our years between the productions it allows us to imagine what these characters lives have been like and that's all there basically is right there that someone posted so I'll try to put this phone down quietly because i think it makes it a little bit too loud hopefully it wasn't too loud hopefully that noise in the background's not too loud either i had to put my uh ac on it's freaking 90 degrees here in michigan right now it's insane um so i can breathe in here i had to Put some AC on so I can actually do this and not sweat my ass off in here. But <laughs> uh, anyways, so there's a time jump. We don't know how many years it's supposed to be. Someone said it's supposed to be three to four years, which I think that's a little bit too much. Uh, given the fact that I read the script, I know how the script ends. How it's going to be played off, I don't know. Uh, I really don't know how they're going to play it off. I know I'm not going to give any spoilers to the script that I read either. Uh, if you want to read it, um, let Google be your friend. I'm not going to post it in the description. I, I really don't want to. Uh, but if you Google Halloween Kills, it's on Reddit. I know it's on Reddit for sure. There's a, you, there's a download on Reddit if you want to read it. But uh, I don't want to give out anything. I don't want to be that guy personally. Because um, too many people are doing that, and it's really annoying. There's a lot of fans that don't want to know spoilers and whatnot. Um, I just wanted to read it to see if it was legit, and unfortunately, I dove way too into it because there was actually a, a script that was leaked a, like before the or no, the film, the movie was already shooting, but there was a script that leaked back out in 2019 uh, that wasn't real uh, at all, but they were sort of uh, writing it, uh, they were sort of writing it down as they were watching like the behind the scenes footage that was released back in 2019. They were using uh, shots of that uh, what was released and adding it to the script so that's why that's when some of us were like oh, maybe this is real but at the same time I was like yeah this this doesn't feel real like reading it I'm like this isn't something nobody would do you know like the character dialogues and uh, uh, how the characters were like I was like there's no way these they would portray this on on screen it just doesn't feel it doesn't feel legitimate so that's when I officially uh, heard it was fake it was debunked as fake so I was like okay good it was it was a terrible script but uh, did that it was that was fake so uh, the real script however is very legit obviously uh, I read it before the trailer was released and basically everything from that script matched the trailer and I was like oh shit I know a whole lot more than I wanted to know so that to myself so uh, uh, I'd recommend not reading it if you want to be surprised because uh, it's going to be a really fun film but 
back to main topic here. I don't really know how they're gonna play this out. How it ends three to four years later. Uh, now, I'm very so like I said, I'm so and so about it. I'm not like pissed about it. I was more excited that the. Halloween Ends was supposed to be taking place on the same night as Halloween 2018. I was like, yes, you know, because that's what I really loved about Halloween 2, the original Halloween 2 uh, that came out after John Carpenter's 1981. Yeah, so I, I really like that it took place on the same night. And I also like the hospital setting, by the way. A lot of people did not care for that. I enjoyed it. It's a fun film. It's basically my second favorite Halloween film uh, in the franchise, so I enjoyed it. But how they play this how they're gonna play this out three to four years later after the after the ending of kills i don't know how they're gonna do it um and again i'm so and so about it because i feel like we've done it before we've done it already we've done the we've done time jumps how many times with this franchise you know we've done time jumps plenty of times in this franchise and it's just kind of getting repetitive it's getting old um what more can you do? You know, we we had a we had a time jump in Halloween four. We sort of had one in five. We had one in six. Uh, obviously, twenty years later, seven resurrection, uh, Halloween, and Halloween two. It's just repetitive. Like, why does he? Why does he? You know, take off all this time, or why is he going? Why is he going hiding? You know, if this guy was, <clears throat> he would just be killing people this entire time. You know, so. Uh, I really like the idea that it was going to be set on the same night, but now I just don't know. Uh, I'm excited for it. Um, I'm excited to see what they do with it, I should say. I just hope they do something new, something fresh. And I trust Blumhouse will. I hope they do, but I tr I'm going to give them my trust and hope that they do that, that they do something new and not the same thing. Uh, because I'm getting very, very Halloween 4 vibes hearing this news uh, I'm not that Halloween 4 is a bad movie but I don't want to see the same thing again you know I don't want to see the same thing happen again where he vanishes for three to four years and just comes back on Halloween night he returns to Haddonfield or whatever and just starts murdering everybody I don't want to see that I don't want to see him get locked up again and uh, you know like so say he gets locked let's just say he gets locked up and uh, returns yet again. Uh, kind of like what they did with Halloween 2018 where we don't see him get locked up in John Carpenter's Halloween, we just see him vanish. Uh, but in 2018, the 2018 version, they explained like, oh yeah, he was found that night, he got locked up and uh, he's been uh, uh, at Switzerland, what was he, what, what, what? I can't remember where he was uh, at. Um, he was at Smith's, was he at Smith's Road or was it Glass Hill? No, he was getting transferred to Glass, Glass Hill. I think he was at Smith's Grove then. He was back at Smith's Grove. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if I'm wrong, apologies. I suck, <laughs> whatever. But uh, I, I don't want to see the same thing happen, basically. You know what I mean? I don't want to see the same thing again that we've seen so many times. Um, they have to do something new. They have to do something different. Basically, what I would do with Halloween Ends, if they're if they're going that direction, which is pretty much confirmed that they are going that direction, uh, let's. I would have either Michael. You know, obviously Michael's probably more than likely coming up on coming off, coming up on top, coming off or coming up on top. I can't word that right at all either. Fuck me. <laughs> he's gonna win in Halloween Kills. Let's say he's gonna win in Halloween Kills, which. I mean, Halloween Ends is going to have Michael Myers in it, so lose or wins, more likely he's going to win, right? Um, he wins. He wins, and he just vanishes off for three to four years. Or he comes off on top, and then the opening to Halloween Ends, he gets locked up again. Let's say it opens up, and he gets locked away again, which why would they do that? Make no sense. He gets locked away again. He's on death row or whatever, and he escapes again. And it just doesn't make sense. So uh, let's say, let's go with the lockup theory. Let's say he gets locked up. Um, three to four years later, he's on death row, about to be put to death. And this is me sort of copying the Halloween Returns idea that they had, where he breaks the chain, where he breaks up, where he breaks out and starts murdering everybody 
and maybe goes back to Haddonfield, which is repetitive again. Uh, I really want to have him head back to Haddonfield. I, I, I let him head far away from Haddonfield, like just escape Haddonfield and just have everybody chase him down and just hunt him down and have bodies turn up or whatever and uh, just have that final showdown with uh, Laurie Strode and Michael Myers um, once and for all. Uh, have a final showdown there and maybe have Laurie sacrifice herself or have them both die. I don't know. Since it's called Halloween Ends, it could be ending the franchise. Um, or my second, my second take was have Michael Myers at the end of Kills wins, right? And walks off into the night and is just on the run. Like he's just, you know, which makes no sense, of course, sort of. But if they're going to go that direction, because why would he just hide in Haddonfield for three to four years? You know, you'd have to leave Haddonfield for it to make sense, I guess. But uh, since it's a time jump here, I mean, I got to go with what, what they're putting out, a time jump. So have him have him leave Haddonfield finally, but as he's leaving Haddonfield, he's just, like, picking off bodies along. Uh, like, he's out of Haddonfield, and uh, who knows where he'll go. Where he'll, he'll just travel along, and bodies will just start turning up, and Lori is just on the hunt for him because, uh, obviously, she was – waiting 40 years so what's three to four more years gonna do obviously you know she's already wasted 40 years of her life she's gonna more than likely waste three to four more years uh, hunting him down trying to capture him you know it kind of goes on a suspense sort of take you know he's it's not the same thing he's not in Haddonfield murdering everybody he's just going across making his way he's just traveling his way and just killing everybody off as he uh, who he comes across you know uh, every, anybody that comes in contact with him, he just kills off. Uh, but it's not taking place in Haddonfield. It's taking place uh, in a different area um, or in many different areas since he's on the run and he's just traveling, so to say. So do something like that and have a final showdown, whatever. I would just take it out of Haddonfield uh, because the Haddon, you know, Haddonfield, of course, it's known for Michael Myers and it's, it's, it's been very known in the movies but take it away from Haddonfield if you're going to do a time jump like that because to have him come back to Haddonfield three to four years later feels repetitive to me. I get Halloween 4 vibes. I get I get a lot of the Halloween movie vibes where he keeps coming back to Haddonfield to do to finish what he started. Um, it's just overdone. I just think it'd be better if he leaves, if they leave Haddonfield. Not say don't go to space or anything. Don't pull any Friday the 13th BS like that. I'm not saying turn this into a Friday the 13th franchise. No, just be smart with it, you know? Uh, do something different because I'm betting any money this franchise, I'm, I'm assuming will probably continue after it ends. I mean, the money that Blumhouse makes for these films, for the Halloween films, they, they, they do a good job. I, I, I think they see that as a as a good direction, a good approach to make more films, but do something different along the way. So let's let's hope they do something different because I just don't want to see the same thing happen again. If they do the same thing again with him vanishing for three to four years and coming back to Haddonfield again and just killing everybody off, I mean, if you're going to do it, do something different with that. That's all I have to say. So that's why I'm very... That's why I'm very so and so about the situation. Uh, I'd rather if I'd rather take place the same night, personally. I'd rather it all take place on the same night because it's gonna still be in Haddonfield and you know leading up to dawn. Say Michael Myers, you know, still killing people throughout the night or whatever. Um, but it leads up to dawn. Lori Strode gets out of the hospital somehow. She gets out of the hospital and her and Michael have one more face off. Make it a longer face off than the 2018 face off, of course. Make it a really good face off where they're just stabbing the shit out of each other or something. Have one of them lose or have both of them lose or have a winner, so to say. I can't see I really can't see Lori Strode being the one to come off on top. Come up on top. I did it again. <laughs> uh, uh, I really can't see Laurie Strode being the winner, personally. Um, as winner as in she kills Michael once and for all, because, again, they've done it in H2O. they got to do something different. They did in Halloween 2018 as well, uh, because they weren't even sure if they were going to make a sequel. So Laurie Strode finally defeated Michael Myers twice now. Uh, she's got to lose, or if she wins again, she's got to die doing it. Um, why does she gotta die doing it? It's diff because it's different. 
You know, it, it's something different they have to do. Um, they can't do the same thing over and over because it just becomes repetitive. I, I, I just don't want to see the same thing happen over and over again. It just gets really, it gets old, it gets stale, it gets annoying. And it makes the fans sort of lose interest in the series. It makes the series sort of die off if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you know. Um, that that's just how I stand. So let's say let's say Michael Myers and Laurie Strode are battling on a cliff or by a cliff, and Laurie just pushes Michael off the cliff, and Michael grabs Laurie's arm and takes Laurie with him, and they're both dead. I don't know if I would consider that a sacrifice, but you know, Laurie pushed him first, so Laurie would be considered the winner. But they both die. Uh, or they can retire the character, so to say they can retire Laurie Strode and not really kill off Michael, but again, it's not, that idea is like, that That idea basically is let's just retire the character and just in case we ever need to bring her back, we can bring her back. She can be the new Dr. Loomis or whatever, you know, um, and I don't want that to happen either. Um, and in my opinion, I think Jamie Lee Curtis, I think she's tired of it. I think she's... Um, I think she's. You know, she already said that she's ready to uh, pretty much leave the franchise after it ends. She thinks the uh, story has a good conclusion, so I hope it's a very good conclusion. I hope they, I hope they handled it quite well. And uh, personally, I just hope it's going to be a good movie. And I trust Blumhouse that it will, since it's supposed to be way more contained than Halloween Kills, because Halloween Kills is more of like a, let's just say, an action-packed gore fest. Not that I don't that. Not that I don't like that. And not that I don't want that to be the thing for Halloween Ends as well, but I would like Halloween Ends to also develop on a good story, too. Um, Halloween Kills has a good story, too. I'm just saying. Uh, have a good conclusion. That's that's it. That's that's. Let's just say that's where I want to get at. Because, of course, I want to see Michael Myers kill people. I, I, yeah, it sounds fucked up saying that, but it's a movie. Come on. Of course, I want to see Michael Myers kill people in, in Halloween Ends. I want to see him, you know, do what he does, uh, basically, uh, I, I, I would I'd like to see the action because I think that's what bothered me about Halloween 2018 is there wasn't really a lot of action in it um, and it then it not only that they were wanting it to take that John Carpenter direction so badly that it did not feel like a Halloween film it, it just Halloween 2018 did not feel like a Halloween film to me it did not so uh, I said no for Halloween ends to be more contained hopefully they handled it very well and hopefully uh, the script that they have out is really good and hopefully that doesn't get leaked <laughs> I, I want to go into that movie not knowing anything um, besides you know a plot a trailer and that's it uh, as far as like spoilers go along I, I don't want to see spoilers for Halloween ends so uh, if a script ever does you know if a script is ever leaked uh, I'm not going to read it <laughs> I won't read the script I will avoid it at all costs regardless if it's fake or not. If it's fake, sure, I'll give it a read. But if it's real, yeah, I'm going to stay away from it. So that's that's where I'm at. But anyways, uh, that's it for me, guys. Let me know what you think about this, uh, what your thoughts are about the Halloween Ends time jump. Are you excited for it? Are you excited to see what they're going to do? Or are you more on the, yeah, we've done it before. Yeah, I'd rather the film take place the same night as Halloween 2018 because that's where I'm at, at least. But I'm also excited to see what they do as well, and hopefully they execute it well. I'm just a little nervous on what they're going to do. I'm just nervous that they're going to go and, redo the same thing again that they've done already before many times and i don't want to see that so uh that's all for me guys uh let me know what you think subscribe to my channel if you have not yet i shall put out more content leave a like uh dislike the video if you want to as well if you're like oh this guy sucks <laughs> don't dislike the video please uh, leave a like uh subscribe and comment let me know what you think and i will talk to you guys next time see you later